Welcome viewers, we are in the Tervascus area in Costa Adeke, just round the corner we've got the Santa Maria apartments, Sunset Bay is round the corner as well, this is Coins. we've got live music on at night here, um, we hidden gems in here, the Beehive pub and the Chinese shop down here that sells absolutely everything in the world down there, there's a couple of other wee bars in there as well, so let's head up the way, let's see where we end up, can you guess where we're going to go? Probably you can, it's a place that I've been to many times, but let's take a wee wander anyway, the sun has come out, it um, was a bit cloudy today but it seems to have settled down now. How are you doing? Alright. Ah, not bad, yourself? Yes. Alright, thanks, what's your name? David. David, lovely to meet you David. Oh, thanks for watching the channel, yeah, I appreciate are, it. Yeah, we where, where are you from? Nottingham. Nottingham, yeah. okay. Alright, lovely to meet you, what's your name? Jean. Jean? Alright, lovely to meet you Jean. Okay. okay, thanks a lot guys, no have a great holiday. Thanks, see you later, bye bye. Lovely to meet you guys. Okay, let's continue. A few hotels are going to pass on the way here. There's the Be Live Experience Lanina. Quite easily missed the entrance for that, it's quite weird. Um, nice looking hotel, but I've done a few videos in there as well. Oh, the wind's come back out. Um, a bit of a mixed day today, it's been about 25 degrees, pretty nice but I can't complain. Where else can you get this weather in March? Not many places, within a four hour flight anyway. Filming this on the wee DJI Pocket Osmo camera for all the guys who are into the tech stuff. Um, but I've got a slight problem, I dropped the camera last night, it wasn't actually my fault. I put it on a shelf in the apartments at the Castle Harbour and the shelf was so flimsy it fell off the shelf and hit the floor, so I think I might have damaged it because it's a bit shaky. Anyway, let me know what you think of the footage at the end. Leave a wee comment. Was it steady enough for you? I don't know. It feels a wee bit different when I'm using it. It's quite annoying because it's quite an expensive camera, but we'll see. That's uh, my Pinta Hotel, I think, over there. It's quite popular for families. Just at the back of here, basically, is Porto Cologne. We were in there earlier on. Uh, check out Webby Boom Sports Channel on YouTube. Uh, Webby. I did back a few winners at the racing, no idea what I was doing, but did get a few winners at Cheltenham. Um, it was in the Hopping Grapes. So, if you're in your horse racing, that's the pub to go to down there, look at this. Beautiful down here. The sun is out, to say the least. Right, let's head down this way. I think that's the Flamingo, is it Flamingo Beach? Flamingo Suites across here. They look really, really nice um, inside. Never stayed them because I've always been well outside my budget for doing these videos. But location wise, right in the centre here. Scallywags, a lot of people ask me about family bars. Um, this is a family bar. During Cheltenham week, they do show the horse racing as well. And at night, they've got a wee mini disc on and they've got entertainment and stuff. They've got a lot of good enter entertainers on here as well. So that's Scallywags, which is basically, literally, just down these steps. It's a wee sun trap, as you can see down there. How nice is it? There's a swimming pool up into there as well. So that's Porto Cologne Harbour, really just down there. Lots of bars, Keg and Church, Old Lodge, um, Hopping Grapes, Sky Bar, loads and loads of bars. There's an Oriental Slow Boat. I've not been in any of these ones, so I don't. I can't give you any recommendations, um, but I'm sure they're pretty nice. Right, let's head up, we'll see if the we'll see if the Harleys, if the cars are out or are they covered. Every time I go by here, almost, I come at the wrong time, but I think it's open today, I can see in the distance, it's maybe, maybe open. We'll find out just in a wee second. Flamingo Beach, mate, is on the right hand side, which looks like a really nice complex as well. So, if you fancy having your dinner inside the car, this is a place to go. It's pretty cool. You've got a live band on at night, which I've heard is really good as well. I need to go in here one time, see what it's like. Um, but I've met a lot of people who've been in here. If you've got kids, maybe a wee boy or a wee girl who love cars, this is probably a place you'd want to come here as well. How cool are some of the cars? Classic cars. Um, so it's pretty nice to be sitting there. 
if you like people watching you'll probably like it here as well because everybody's going to pass you by when you're getting your meal as well but it's a bit unique isn't it it's definitely a bit unique so that is harley's american restaurant and bar it's pretty nice inside as well check out the bike so come back one time when the live music entertainment's on but it's really nice in here there's a lot of families inside i can already see around there how cool is it in here Pretty nice. Get busy at night, it's going to film in the afternoon. Let's continue. The wee path that takes you down to Porto Colón down there as well. We're going to go up this absolute cardiac hill here. This is a killer on your knees. But it's fine when you get to the top, a couple of good bars, as you'll see when we get here. Thirsty Turtle used to be on your left, it's now been taken over by an Indian, which I've, I've met a few viewers who have been in this Indian, said it was really nice. Can't remember the name of it, but I'll show you. Just at the top here, we've got Temple Bar, Scotch Corner, across the road we've got the Beer Garden, Across the road on the left hand side, we've got the Coconut Cafe. Okay, Daily Delights, that's the name of it, sorry I forgot that. I think they're probably just opening. Um, I've met a few of you, so I've been in there, they said it's really nice. We've got three course meals of £14.95, not too bad. I've met quite a lot of viewers who have stayed in these apartments. The Los Geronis, I think they're kind of private lets. You maybe get them in Airbnb, I very rarely see them ever for rent on Booking.com or TripAdvisor. So let me know if you stayed in there. I've met a few of you who say they're quite nice. Okay, so mentioned the Thirsty Turtle. The same guys who owned it have opened this place, the Ginger Pig. And if the food's the same standard as it was previously, then it'll be really nice. I've heard a lot of people say it's really nice in here, the Ginger Pig. I've not yet been in it. I have done a few videos showing you, but it's always pretty busy. Irish Fiddler, Temple Bar. So during Cheltenham week and St Patrick's Day, you'll actually get live music in the Irish Fiddler and in the Temple Bar. So you've got different bands, different musicians on, and it's really, really busy. Across here, we've got San Eugene's. Um, they've got a really good resident band in here called Crush. And they've also got some really good artists, including Frankie Mack, go and support another Scotsman. Down the stairs, uh, Smoke Brothers, I think it's called. It's taken over the top bit of San Eugene's, let me just check it. That's just taken over the top bit. And we've got Temple Bar here as well, as you can see. We're busy later on. Beer Garden across here. And Scotch Corner right there as well. Perfect. Just show you the coconut cafe over here as well. Some of the I've just met some of the boys there. They're just going into the Temple Bar or the Scotch Corner. So it says they'll get them just in two seconds. Uh, San Eugenio Shopping Centre over there. That's where I bought a phone when I lost one of my phones. Um, all sorts of shops there. That's uh, Smoke Brothers. Heard it's right, nice in there. A few people have recommended the food. And then, round this side, we've got a place that's normally always really busy. A beer is two euros for a large beer, how could they do it? Coconut, cocktail bar, good place for people watching. Cheers! <laughs> yeah, I met lots of yours at the Coconut Cafe bar. Um, and just up here as well, we've got the taxi rank. Further along, we've got the Irish Rover, we've got the Faces bar. So if you're coming here for St Patrick's Day, a couple of Irish bars up the top. About a 15 minute walk from here, right up the top over the motorway is Laguna Park 2. Bring the Sherpas with you to get up there, it's a bit of a walk. Um, Laguna Part 1 is up on the right hand side, so I've done quite a few videos showing you these places. Um, but that's a popular place there. Yeah. Um, let's. It's going to finish, I think, at Scotch Corner. I think I'm going in here for a pint. The boys have just said we're going to do a pit stop. We're on the way to Las Americas, which is down that way. We'll turn right at the Bougainville Player and we're going to Radio Sir Beach for dinner. And uh, obviously the walk's too long, so we're going to have to stop somewhere for a wee pit stop. So I'm going to just check. I think the boys are in Scotch Corner, the Cuban Temple Bar. I think it's going to be Scotch Corner. 
Thanks for watching to the end, I really appreciate it. Um, check out all the other videos on the channel. And um, don't forget, it's absolutely free to hit the subscribe button. We'll see you on the next one, okay? Right, it's going to end at Scotch Corner. Goodbye, viewers.